Whoremonger. Number seven, whoremonger. A man who hires whores, prostitutes, harlots. This word appears in the Bible. I'll give you an example of it from the New Testament because I know there's going to be people who are sensitive and they're going to say, Taylor, you don't. Taylor, you don't say whore. You say sex worker. People's feelings get hurt when you say whore. It's sex worker. No, the Bible uses the word whore. A whore is, we'll get to that in a little bit. Right now we're talking about whore monger. Here it is. This is from the book of the Apocalypse. Apocalypse 21.8. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars, they shall have their portion in the pool burning with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Apocalypse 21.8. So you see some pretty serious sins listed here. And if you're a person listed here, you need to repent, turn to Jesus Christ. God loves you. You need to be baptized. And you need to join the one holy Catholic and apostolic church. If you're already baptized, you need to go to the sacrament of penance. You need to go to confession to a priest and confess your mortal sins, however many times you've committed them, and you will receive absolution and your soul will be clean. And then you live a life of faith, hope, and charity. So here are some of these sins, and right there you see whoremongers. The whoremonger is the person who hires prostitutes. So if John goes to Vegas and he hires harlots, I'm like, man, John, you're a whoremonger? Didn't know that about you. Or don't be a whoremonger when you go on your business trip. I like this comment real quick from Annie Gallagher. She's watching over at Facebook. She says, I'm just trying to visualize my, my friends' faces by using these words in a conversation with them. I think they would have me say, uh, sectioned. I say go for it. We're get closing up on Thanksgiving, and they're trying to get you to use all of their words, all of their LMNOP, alphabet soup nonsense. They're pushing it in your face, pushing it in your face. You use your biblical worldview, your biblical words. They expect you to just take it all day long. Well, you know what? It's time for us to retake our language.